Hey, what's up guys? My name is Activator and I'm a Twitch streamer over on twitch.tv slash Activator. And today I'm going to show you guys something kind of cool that maybe you just got yourself. And I'm talking about the overlay packs and whatnot coming in from movegraph.com. And today I'm going to show you guys exactly how to install, set up, manage, and, and, and get everything going for you to get your production value of your streams to the next level. Now, everything I'm about to show you guys can be utilized across all of the overlay packs and everything coming in from movegraph.com. So today I'm going to show you a brand new overlay pack, and that is the Acker pack. Now, this is the red version. And it does come in other colors, so if you choose to want to change up the color of it, you can always find the one that suits your needs and, and best suits your stream. You also are going to get yourself some nice modular elements to really build and design your stream to how you see fit and make it custom for you. Let's go ahead and uh, jump right on in and show you exactly how to install and get this thing running. So once you make your purchase, you're going to get a downloadable file. That file is going to be this little folder right here, but it's going to be zipped. So you're going to need to unzip it. Now you can use multiple programs to unzip this. You just double click. I'm going to use seven zip and uh, I'm going to go ahead and just hit on extract here. And when I click that, I'm going to get a brand new folder and that's going to contain everything I need to get my overlays started. So we're going to go and open this up and see exactly what you guys are going to get inside of this folder that you just downloaded. Now inside you're going to see four different folders, each of them containing multiple pieces of assets. Let's go ahead and start over here with the overlays. Now we do have an animated and a non-animated versions of these, uh, these, these overlays. So definitely check out both and see what suits your needs. But over here, we do have the non-animated versions. So if I go ahead and open this up, you can kind of see exactly what you're going to be getting inside of OBS. Now you got your uh, your one-to-one, -one, you got your four by three, and you got your 16 by nine overlays for your cameras. We also have a holder. Now this will be really good and useful for people that use green screen. So when you use green screen, you can put this below your green screen and it kind of gives you a little section that you can put up your own, your newest followers and everything else that you might want. And that way it's a nice little holder to hold your green screen person in place. So moving on from the holder, we also got some different elements that you can actually really use to modify and uh, really enhance the way your stream looks. So if I kind of scroll through here, you can see they have some pre-made sets of uh, latest subs, new followers. If I keep going on here, they give you a bunch of different ways to customize your stream to how you like it. Now you can add any sort of text you want here and I'll get in that in here in just a moment, but you can see we do have some pre-made ones. It's already ready there waiting for you. So going back in the folders here, we also have the animated versions. And when you open these up, these are all WebM files. So if I open this up, you're going to see exactly what you're going to be getting on the inside. You can see it's a little bit of animated movement here. Very subtle, but also really clean. And maybe that's something you're going for. Let's go ahead and uh, continue on here as we have a bunch of the same stuff that we just showed off. But these are all animated, which is really nice to be able to see just like subtle movement. Now, when you open these up, they might not always look perfect webm files tend to have some weird look to it but i assure you once you install it into the software you're going to be just fine so also included in the folder are a bunch of panels and if you go ahead and click on the first one here you can see you get an about me you get a blank one so you can customize it to how you want now you can also keep going here and you got cheers your contact information your discord your donate your facebook and everything else you could potentially want to show off to your viewers. So taking it back yet again, we do have a folder titled PSDs and inside this, you're actually going to get a bunch of different files that are PSDs and those PSDs are to be opened up inside of Photoshop to edit text. Now these texts are going to include something like latest cheer or maybe latest donation or new sub and then you can change these however you want. So if you don't like saying latest follower, or newest sub or something like that, you can change it utilizing these PSD files. Now, if you need help going into those files and editing and changing everything, you can actually jump into our tutorial that goes into more in depth on how to open up and really modify these files to suit your needs. So maybe you can change this to newest subscriber rather than latest subscriber or whatever text you want. Go check out that video today. It's available on the channel. In our last folder, we also have a bunch of other folders within inside of this one, and that's going to include fonts, icons, and pre-made text. Now, if I go over here to the pre-made text, you're going to see we have a bunch of pre-made assets for us that we can utilize inside of our streams. So if you didn't want to sit there and edit those PSD files, they also have pre-made text here. And you can see here we have latest cheer, latest donation. They also have some combined items so you can really just put it right on into your uh, your OBS and just drag and drop them in and put it right on top of the overlays that you just downloaded. So on top of that, we also have these icons. And if I open this up, you can see exactly what we're going to get here. They're going to give you a bunch of different icons that you can utilize on your stream to make it that much more unique and that much more personal to you. Now, if I scroll through here, you're going to get a bunch of different 
icons here one for cheers one for contacts maybe uh you want to throw up the movegraph.com logo or you got yourself discord donate and all these other icons to really show off and enhance your your production value of your streams to make it that much cooler and maybe you want to make a nice little cycling image that changes from one image to another and that way people know how to contact you when you're streaming included in some of these overlay packs is a font and these fonts are used inside of the templates and assets inside of what you just downloaded so if i open this up you're actually going to see i'm going to get another zip file and what that's going to be is the actual font that is used in the assets so that when you go to edit these files you actually have the font that is used in those those assets and now you can customize it and keep the exact same style that you downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and right click and I'm gonna hit extract all. And you can see there is two included inside of this folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click the first one. This is what the font looks like. And if I just click install, it just instantly starts to install it. Now it's done, I can close out and let's go ahead and get the light version here. Now you can see it's a thin version of the same code font. I'm gonna go ahead and install that as well. Now, if I wanna go into Photoshop and really edit these files, I have the font that is utilized for all the assets. So now that we've looked at everything inside of the folder, we're actually gonna take these files and bring them into OBS. Now for this tutorial, we're gonna be looking at Streamlabs OBS here. And when you open up Streamlabs OBS, you're gonna get a nice blank canvas. And this is where you're gonna start. Only when you go to start to add files, you just click this little plus sign and you're gonna start to add your sources. Now, one way to do it is to go ahead and add an image or a video source or a media source. And I'm gonna go ahead and click on media source. So when I click on media source, I'm gonna hit add source. And now we're gonna type in background. So I'm gonna add myself a nice little background here and you would go to browse. So one thing I actually have is a little background here that I've been wanting to use. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up this background, move this over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this file right here and I'm gonna go ahead and make sure I check loop. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow the video to keep on looping and keep on playing. I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. So now we can start to build our stream. I'm gonna go ahead and start with a camera. I'm gonna go ahead and take my camera myself. So I'm gonna hit video capture device, hit add source titled camera. I'm gonna hit add source. I'm going to select my capture card here and that's going to select my face and I'm going to maybe shrink this down. Now I'm going to keep it somewhere up in the top right corner. I'm thinking that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that in. And now when I hit the lock symbol, I'm not going to be able to move this, which is going to be really nice because once you start dialing everything and tweaking everything, you want to keep things locked up. So not, you, not, you can't like move something and like mess it up. We saw how to add a source via using the plus symbol, but what's really cool and what's easy about this is if I come into my overlays, let's go ahead and find ourselves a nice camera overlay. I'm going to go ahead and select the 16 by nine because my camera is 16 by nine. So what's really nice and convenient is all you have to do is simply drag and drop these into your source list. Now, when you drag and drop them, it instantly drops it in and it is moving already. If I go ahead and minimize this and we uh, scale this up a little bit, you can see that it is moving. We do have a little bit of nice red glow and it's just very simple, but it's really sleek. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink this down and I'm going to go ahead and drag this over my camera. And when I drag it, I'm going to try to find the right perfect placement for it. And I'm thinking, and I'm thinking that's looking pretty, pretty nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring my background back in here. So I go, I went ahead and I locked in the 16 by nine. Now one feature that slobs has here, Streamlabs OBS is you can go ahead and right click on your main monitor here. And if you go to create output projector, it's going to give you this little window. That window is going to allow you to full screen your entire OBS without having to see all the extra bits and pieces here. So if I wanted to full screen this and actually see it looks pretty good and I'm liking how this is looking. My background's looking nice and also the overlay around my camera's looking pretty good too. And I can see that it's animated and looking so sweet. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the next step. I'm gonna go ahead and hit escape and we're gonna slide this on over to our other monitor here and we're gonna move on to the next step. And that's gonna be adding something else on our scene, maybe to show off our subs and followers and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and take our stacked element here. And this is called the, uh, the lower V2 base. And if I drag that in, I'm gonna go ahead and put that maybe on the very tippy top. And you can see it's two separate bars here and that's gonna allow me to customize whatever I see fit. So before I actually put this into place, I'm actually gonna customize a little bit. Let me go ahead and hide my background again. And you can see we do have our element. And what I wanna do is I wanna add text to this. So if we go back to our main folders here, we do have these different resources that we saw earlier. Now, one thing that was cool is that inside of our PSD files, we do have the files in which we can start to add to our channel. So all I gotta do is to add the latest subscriber is go ahead and grab this file, put it right on top. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this on top of my V2 red base down there. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag this, make it a little bit bigger. And I'm feeling like that looks pretty good. I'm liking where it's uh, where it's placed. So we're gonna leave it there and we're gonna move on to our next step. And maybe down below latest subscriber, I wanna look at the latest donation. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the latest donation text and drag that as well on the top here. 
I'm going to drag it down below latest subscriber. And you know what? I'm going to make it also a little bit bigger to match the, uh, the other text right there. And I kind of lining them up to make sure that they're quite accurate. I'm going to go ahead and just scale it up a little bit more so that they're about the same size. And then we're going to drag it down to the position that we want. And you know what? Maybe I'm actually liking where it's locking to right there. I'm thinking this looks pretty good, but I'm going to actually modify it a little bit more. I'm actually going to move this to the other side. So if I put it here, now if I want to, I can put my uh, my text here that the who the latest donation is and also my latest sub can be on the top. So I'm liking this as is, but I want to move it around. But everything, if I go to move this, if I go ahead and grab this, it's not going to move with it. So how am, I, how am I supposed to do that? Now, here's one simple way to do it, and that's using something called grouping. So if I go ahead and take these three elements right here, so if I shift and click, I can select all three of these at once, or if I only wanted to select a couple of them, I could hit control and click, and that way I could select just the two. But for this, we are gonna select all three. So I have all three selected, and I'm gonna create a new group. And if I hit new group here, we can title this latest sub slash dono. And that way, when I hit okay, now we have a folder that is able to be moved around wherever I want. Now that I have this folder, I can actually start to move it around and scale it to my size of choice. And I actually want it to be just below my camera. So I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down and hopefully that matches something pretty good right about there. And I'm thinking that looks pretty good. And we're gonna move on to our next bit. That's where we get to play around even more utilizing some of the animated or non-animated versions of these assets. Now I'm gonna take one of the non-animated versions. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this first one right here and it's called Lower V1 Base. And if I drag that in, so now that I have this element here, I can simply place it wherever I want. And if I really want to, I can sit here and scale it down to size. And maybe that's looking pretty good, but maybe I wanna flip it about 90 degrees clockwise. So if I go ahead and right click, I can go ahead and go to transform and we can go down here to clockwise 90 degrees and rotate it. So now that we rotate it, we can see that it has rotated. And you know what I wanna do? I wanna to start to add maybe a bar to the side of my screen here. And I'm thinking about adding it right to the far edge here. And I'm gonna go ahead and scale it on up and really start to create something that I think kind of looks cool. And I'm gonna go ahead and leave that right there. And now what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and take my, uh, my camera elements here. I'm gonna unlock the camera. I'm gonna unlock the overlay around the camera. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the latest sub slash dono that we locked earlier. And I'm gonna shift click all these and I'm gonna be able to move them all as one source down to maybe I'm thinking the bottom left. Now that we have this bar here on the right, I'm thinking maybe that looks pretty good. And to make matters even easier, I'm gonna go ahead and just combine all these. So if I take my latest sub, my Acker 16 by nine, as well as my camera source, and we're gonna go ahead and add another group and we're just gonna title this camera overlay. I'm gonna go ahead and hit done. So now we have our camera overlay and that's gonna sit there as one giant folder. Let's go ahead and take our Acker lower V1 base. Now, one thing you can do is you can always right click and you can hit copy and then you can right click again and hit paste duplicate. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna paste the exact same image on top of your other image. So now you can see I have two different bars here. And if I go ahead and drag this above my camera, you can see we have the two different bars, but I wanna move this to the opposite side. So we end up placing it on the opposite side there, but I want it to look almost mirrored. So you can see that the red is on this side and the red is on this side. But what I wanna do is I wanna flip this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit right click. I'm gonna hit transform and I'm gonna hit flip vertically. Now, originally this was on its side. So when you hit flip vertically, it's actually gonna flip it horizontally. And that's because we rotated it. So now that we rotated it, now we have these two bars on either side of our screen. And I'm thinking that looks pretty, pretty good. But I'm feeling it's not fully done yet. We're gonna go ahead and unlock our camera overlay and we're gonna drag it up. And that's because I'm gonna create a bar across the bottom side of my screen. I'm gonna do that utilizing the Acker Lower V3. And if I drag that on screen, you can see it's gonna fill up the entire screen. So I'm gonna take this and drag it all the way to the bottom. But you know what? I'm actually seeing through the bottom a little bit here. So what I want to do is actually move this to the top of my screen. So it's going to go on back out and we're going to grab this and drag it to the very, very top. And I'm feeling like that's looking pretty good, but I already have the latest sub and latest donation. So I actually want to change this and I actually want to make it something a little bit different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And if you just click on the image and hit delete, it's going to ask you to uh, okay the deletion. I'm going to go ahead and hit okay. And we're actually going to drag in the lower V base just the base on its own. Now this is gonna be without the text on it. So now you can see it's nice and clean and I can do whatever I want with this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this to the top, but I'm actually starting to see something that I wanna try out here. And that's creating something brand new utilizing this asset. Now what I basically wanna do is I wanna add this red on this side, but keep this one on this side as well. So how am I gonna do that? And here's how you do it. You go ahead and drag this to wherever you see fit. So what I can do here is I can alt and drag over to the side here. 
Now I could simply drag this in and add a new, uh, new source and try to flip it and everything, but I can also just hit control C and then control V and that's going to duplicate my source. Now, again, I do want to flip it. So I'm going to go ahead and right click transform. and I'm going to flip this horizontally. And when I flip it horizontally, we're going to get the bar in the top, right? And I'm going to go ahead and slide that over to the top right of my screen. And that's looking pretty good. And we're going to take our other one here and move that to the top of the screen. Maybe something right there. And that's looking pretty good. But you can see there may be a little bit of overlay here. So I'm going to go ahead and fine tune this adjustment. And that's looking pretty good there. But I'm not digging this hard line that we have. So I'm going to go ahead and hold alt. And we're going to find the perfect place for this to be split. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one. We're going to drag it this way. And we're going to alt drag it this way. And I'm actually thinking that's looking pretty good. I could probably fine tune it and really make it perfect. But for what I want, I think this is looking pretty good. What we've created here is this giant bar across the top side of my screen that is very unique for my specific use of this overlay pack. Now, let's say we were happy with how this is looking and I'm liking our border that we kind of created around our stream setup. Again, click on all of our elements here. If I take the V1 and the other V1, as well as the, the V3 and the other V3, I can go ahead and hit group. And we're going to title this stream overlay. And that way I know that it is the entire screen that is now the overlay. So if I go ahead and click on this, unlock it, now I can move all these sources however I see fit and they all move together. So I am liking this, but I want to keep going. So what I ended up wanting to do here is I want to go ahead and add some custom text. Now we do have these resources that we saw earlier. And what I want to do is I actually want to create something kind of new and unique. So I'm going to go ahead and create a slideshow right here. And I'm going to hit add source. I'm going to call this just slideshow and add. And now I can sit here and start to add files that I want to actually use. So if I hit the little plus symbol and go find my resources, I'm actually going to go into my icons and we're going to add a couple of icons here. I'm thinking Facebook, Discord, YouTube, and Twitter. And I'm going to hit open and now it's going to open up all of these and it's going to start to put it within a slideshow. Now I'm liking where this is looking. We're actually going to make this uh, maybe 5,000 milliseconds, which is going to be five seconds. So it's going to take five seconds between switching between each one of these icons. I'm going to hit done. I'm going to slide this over to the middle of my screen. Now, if I slide it right there and leave it right there, that's looking pretty good. Now it's going to start to transition. And I'm thinking that's looking pretty nice. You know, now we start to see that it swaps over to discord and it'll continue down the line and uh, be every single icon that I choose. So I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. I'm liking it. And maybe my next step is adding the latest follower to the top side of my screen. So I'm going to go ahead and take this pre-made text here, the new follower. I'm going to drag it onto my screen. I'm going to slide it on over to the top right. I'm going to shrink it down a little bit because I don't want it to be too overpowering. So I'm going to go ahead and maybe drag it, simply put it right there as a new follower. And I want to do something on the left side here too. So we're actually going to find the latest cheer. I'm going to drag that in. I'm also going to drag this on over here and make sure that the sizes kind of match up in terms of their scale. And I'm thinking those look pretty close. I'm going to shrink it down just a little bit more. That's looking pretty close. And I'm thinking that looks pretty good, maybe about there. You know what? I'm thinking this is looking pretty nice. Let me go ahead and hide my other camera here. I'm thinking this is looking pretty good. This is looking like a nice setup. I get to see that I have my Twitter icon here and the other things that rotate through. I got my newest follower, my newest cheer, my latest sub, my latest donation. And this is looking really nice, especially with the subtle animation that's happening with some of these overlays that I ended up selecting. And I may even go back and change these out to make them all animated just so everything has this nice clean look to it. It's, it's really cool to know that I can take these assets and actually combine them to make something new and something more unique to my stream setup. One more thing, all the information I showed you guys here today can actually be applied to all the overlay packs from movegraph.com. Check it out and find the best style that works for you to take your streams to the next level. Hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this helped you out. And until next time, happy streaming, good luck, have fun, and I'll catch you on the next video.